Hi, hello everyone. Uh, so last time we left off with our orthographic camera uh, and then we had this sprite as well rendered. So this time uh, we're actually going to render multiple sprites, but for that we're going to need to do some refactoring just to clean up the code. So let's do just that and let's create quickly class called, uh, sorry, I pressed folder. We need new file, which is going to be sprite uh, pipeline. And then uh, what our sprite pipeline is going to be, let's just uh, do this. It's going to have public initialize. And then let's see what do we need. So in our main, everything that belonged uh, to prepare model, we're going to use everything from that. And actually we can remove this prepare model. And we can move it to our initialize method of uh, our pipeline. Uh, sorry, spite pipeline. And then we can just say device. And here it will be GPU device context. It automatically added context, but I don't care about it. I don't care about it either. But we're going to need texture. And we're going to need our, what was it called? Projection view matrix buffer. And it's of type GPU buffer. So let's see, uh, let's just do some small changes. So let's first resolve this shader source. Uh, and so we're just going to cut it from here and then paste it uh, somewhere over here. It's good place as any. All right, that's sold. Our device. So we're now passing device through the constructor. So we can just do con control or command F and then use replace. So let's just type here, here this device and just replace it with device. So that's going to to care of this, uh, sorry, that's going to care, take care of uh, this dot device. So that becomes device. So here, here we had this texture bind group and we're actually going to use it here. So we're going to have public texture bind group. And that's okay. And here we had content. So that's why we're passing texture now. So we're going to say texture and then texture. And as you remember, our texture was just a wrapper with uh, GPU texture and sampler. And here we have this projection view bind group. So we're actually going to use it here. Up GPU bind group that takes care of that. And finally, this one is passed now as a parameter. And here this pipeline. So it's we're going to have pipeline here as well this pipeline of gpu render pipeline that takes care of it but let's just create another method quickly which is going to be called public create it's going to be static and then it will take the same parameters as here so device texture projection view matrix buffer uh, we're going to create pipeline initialize it and then just return it so that sets our factoring for spite pipeline. And with that said, we actually need to use it now. And we might do just that here, but we're going to use it in a bit different way. Uh, so let's see this texture, it's not used. We can remove it, remove it here as well. Let's remove this prepare model as well. Let's see then further, what do we need? Uh, let's just create a method. So. We're going to have draw method, but we're also going to have public method, which is going to be called draw sprite. And it needs to take two parameters. The first one is texture and the second one is rect. And we don't have rect here. You will see why in a second. So let's just create a class rect. So let's export it. Oh, I forgot the name as it seems. So it's just going to have constructor and then public. So X, Y for position, width and height. And that's all right. And here it's going to take rect as well. Not record, actually rect. So let's see, let's import it. So how are we going to use it uh, for that? I need to refactor some stuff. And you can see it exactly here. So we're not going to use this geometry anymore, but we're going to plug some stuff from geometry. So I need these indices since we're not using it. 
and here where we have index bar for geometry indices let's just create array and then paste our indices into that array uh, that's all right and this uh, vertices we're not going to use vertices anymore or this for that matter what we're actually going to do is create our data uh, somewhere over here private uh, so let's call it vertex data and then it's of type flow32 array and we can initialize it as well so seven uh, because we have uh, seven floats per uh, per hour uh, corner edge vertex uh, if you will and then we have four of them uh, for our um, well quad uh, so that's why so let's just pass this vertex data here and then that's all solved but we're actually not going to use it here so we can probably uh, we can leave it here just comment it out then in our draw sprite as you can see here in geometry we have this idea of position uh, width and height so let's do just that i'm just going to copy it go to main ts and then just keep it here for reference but we're actually going to do this now so we're going to have our uh, data sorry vertex data and we're going to say 0 is uh, rect x 1 is rect y so we're just setting this but we're setting it here and you're going to see why in a second so let's go further our uv coordinates are 0 oh, maybe, maybe I can just say this uh, top left so that we know which edges and then colors were just 1 1 1 then we hit top right so let's set top right so uh, for top right x uh, we need to add width to x and then we had vertex bottom right so let's see here good suggestion good suggestion as well this is fine up 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 and then we had bottom left as well all right i just see and this is it i believe these two last three are color yeah that's it exactly so we can leave that here and now what we need to do is actually uh, what do we need to do we actually are going to create pipeline here let's call it just sprite pipeline and it's going to be a, uh, it's going to, we're going to use sprite pipeline and then we hit create and we're going to paste this device texture and the last parameter is this camera uh, was it projection view bar for this but we had to cast it if you remember so let's do just that and I explained uh, why last time because our projection view matrix is oh let's just see GPU buffer ah we actually had buffer for it my bad actually we're passing the buffer all right that's sold now we have our pipeline so here is that data we're writing uh, vertex data again and then what we need to do is we're going to create a vertex buffer here and we're going to use this vertex data we're passing device so uh, nothing unusual we already had it but then uh, let's see we're going to pluck until draw indexed and then draw indexed as well so let's just paste it here uh, so we need to make our pass encoder as global and it's of type gpu command encoder so let's do just that so we don't need pipeline here and then we can say private pass encoder is of type gpu render pass encoder let's see we don't need this projection view bind group and texture bind group because they're actually now sprite pipeline we can leave this even if it's not used for now we're going to use it in next video uh, geometry we don't need let's see what do we have further here so here let's just change this uh, as this so on uh, make 
for me this multi-line command is option command and then you just press down as many times as you want and on windows i don't remember exactly i think it's control alt shift maybe uh and then let's see here we're not using this pipeline actually we're going to use our sprite pipeline here index buffer is okay but as you remember uh the bind groups are on our uh, sprite pipeline now and let's just see okay we created a method and then let's just say draw here and let's just say and draw here and let's try to see let's do this draw sprite so we had our content sprite texture and then we can say draw here just need to fix it it's not sprite texture it's player texture and it's broken for some reason let's see why it's probably complaining already about something insert vertex buffer is not of type gp buffer aha i forgot here so we created vertex buffer here it's not this vertex buffer it's actually this one here so if i pass it it works okay so now we're drawing basically one sprite so let's do this uh four let i equal zero i is less ah what have i done i is less than some number let's say 50 i plus plus let's format this Okay, uh, we're drawing 50 of them, it's just that they're overdrawn. So let's just do this quickly. So let's have private canvas as global HTML canvas element. And then we can just say this canvas. And sorry about this. We need to fix it in a couple of more places. So basically we need to fix it here, this canvas. Let's fix it here and let's fix it here as well. And then okay, I don't need to do anything here. I am a bit distracted. So what we're going to do is just say mat uh mat random times this canvas dot width. And we're going to do the same for height. And as you can see, they're, they're drawn all over the place. This is exactly what we want. And then we just want one more thing. So for now, uh, we have our draw method, but it's just drawn once and then nothing is happening anymore. So we want to have uh, animation loop. And how do we do that? Well, we can just call draw uh, again once it, finishes, once it finishes. And we can do that uh, via just calling draw or we can even better we can use request animation frame and then this kind of works uh, all right let's just one more small thing so we had our content here let's just use some other content as well and here i'm just going to use this ufo red that's fine uh, so let's do just that public static ufo red it's of type texture and let's just call it uh, here texture to be consistent and let's do this just that uh, it's asset png UFO red i believe the pet may be right let's just write out let's copy this guy again and here we can just say for texture and as you can see it works uh but the frame rate is it's terrible and i'm going to explain why in the next video so for this video i just wanted to refactor this so just to explain it how it works uh quickly so uh i did this because i want to write to vertex uh data each frame so our uh sprite is moving and therefore we need to write to our vertex data and then here this is not efficient I'm creating a buffer. Uh, so we're going to deal with this next time. Uh, and then uh, I, I could write to this buffer, this data, but, uh, and actually we're going to use that next time, but we're also going to optimize it a bit further. 
Uh, here I'm creating a pipeline. I don't have to do that for every sprite. For now, I just left it here unoptimized because otherwise video might be too long. And and here we can also fix some of this stuff and we're going to do the next time. But the, the whole point was just so that we can draw multiple textures and it actually move them around. So all the refactoring th that I did, I did just basically to be able to do this, create pipeline, create vertex buffer and to have something moving. As you can see frame rate, it's not even that bad. But if I increase the number of entries, it's going to get uh, way worse. So let's just say 100 and then there is this drop, slow start, stuttering. So we're going to be dealing with that next time. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and until next time.